Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to do motion blur effect inside of Blender like this. So, let's jump into the tutorial. Now I'm inside of Blender. And I already have my scene with animation already set up. And I want to make my lightsaber have motion blur effect. And first thing first all you have to do is render out your scene. So, first choose the place where you want to save your render. And I render movie scene using PNG file format. After chose click render to render. When you done the render all you have to do next is mask out all the object except for the lightsaber blade. Because we want to give the motion blur to it. To mask out other objects, you can hide it from render or mask out like me. First, I'm going to select all of the object you want to mask, click M at new collection and going to call it mask and create. Then click on filter icon and enable mask. And enable this mask icon on your mask collection. And then you have to go to render properties, scroll down to film, and enable transparent, so you can see only lightsaber blade. Now move to the important part is motion blur, you have to enable it, and this is my motion blur setting, you can copy my setting like this. After that go back to output properties, choose the place where you want to put your render, or you can just change the name for new render like me. And make sure file format set to PNG, and color to RGBA. And render it out. Right now, you can see the motion blur on lightsaber blade, but it doesn't look good and I'm going to show you what to do next after the render done. So, to make the motion blur look good, you have to save your Blender project and open up new video editing project. We have to edit it and don't worry it is really easy to edit. So let add your image sequence of your lightsaber blade render, import all the frame. Now you can see lightsaber blade. Set the keyframe to match the sequence and go to proxy. Enable strip proxy and timecode. Enable directory. Choose the place where you want to save the new lightsaber blade motion blur. And put resolution 100%, quality set to 100. Set selected strip proxy 100%. And click on rebuild proxy and timecode indices. Wait for it to rebuilding. Right now you can see motion look good. And now you can combine it with your render scene. Add your scene sequence and add lightsaber blade motion blur sequence. And then go to strip. At compositing, set blend to lighten. Now everything finish you can render it out.